excited about introducing this new family of flex wing cutters. Now, flex wing cutters have been around for a long time. And I will tell you, this is the most innovative introduction of a flex wing cutter in at least 40 years. Uh, these units have been design redesigned absolutely from the ground up. Um, we looked at a lot of different things as we, uh, as, as we thought about what it would, be, what it would take to make the product better. And really a clean sheet of paper. We carried a few things forward, but almost all of it is brand new. Uh, a lot of innovation. And in fact, we have a patent or two pending on some of the design features on these machines. So it, it's been a uh, it's been kind of a long project at some at, as we progressed, but it has been well worth the effort, and we are excited to bring that here. To to the, at the show here this morning. We have uh, a number of dealers that have seen these units at a series of dealer meetings this summer. We invited them to come and, and uh, be here so that if you have any questions about uh, the guys that will actually be selling them, you can ask. There's one right here that if, if you want to just grab one or two of them and ask them about the dealer's perspective on this new product, please feel free to do so. Um, at the same time, talk about the features and, and the exciting new things on these machines, uh, let's, just, let's just talk a little bit about some of the things that, and, and if you want to come this way a little bit, around, talk about some of the things that we look at as being really important to the customers who are uh, going to be buying and using the product. The first one is a rotating clevis type hitch which doesn't sound like a big deal uh, until you're the guy that's actually connecting the tractor to the mower. This one, when you have the jack in position, that clevis is locked in place so that when you disconnect your tractor and drive away and come back, it is exactly in the same position as it was when you left, making connecting to the tractor much easier and, in fact, not a three-person job anymore. Uh, it's, it's really something that we feel like is, is uh, user-friendly, something that's going to be a great benefit to the people that are actually uh, running the machinery. Uh, the Clevis hitch goes right up into uh, a tongue which is designed with the same type of curvature that you see on the actual machine itself. It has a great deal of strength, just like the arch of a bridge. Um, it adds the connecting point has got, it's got two inch rifle drilled pins so that it's greasable. So it'll eliminate wear points, eliminate points where customers have had problems in the past. Then we started from there on back. We as an industry take safety very, very important. It's something that we really talk about and emphasize because frankly, farm machinery is dangerous and can or can be dangerous. So we want our customers to be as safe as possible. The industry has determined that we will uh, protect customers, operators from universal joints a full 360 degrees. As far as I know, we are the only company with this product that actually accomplishes that. Uh, we protect and yet at the same time we allow easy access for service. ABS plastic sh uh, shield that covers the drive area completely and does a great job. It's got UV protection uh, into the chemical composition of it so that it's there for long life. It, it does a great job of giving you access to the service points. Uh, all of the things right here that the customer would normally be required to lubricate, uh, he has easy access to them. And that, again, is something a little different than what we had seen in the past. Because guys that come up with these monstrous big metal shields that bolt on, the first time they get taken off for service, they don't go back on, and you no longer have safety protection. So, again, we have a, a, a great desire to keep our customers as safe as possible. And if you follow that concept, out here on the, on the gearbox end of the drive lines, uh, 
clamping mechanism that you can loose and slide that bell back to do your service work and then put it back in position and lock it down. Again, we want to keep that shield there and not in some ditch somewhere when it got so difficult to take off and put back on. And we want to protect our customers all the way along. The same uh, on the front end of this, the same type of big rugged skid shoes that Rhino is known for to give you extra stability as you run through the field. But if you look at the top of the deck, you see it's a little different from what we have done in the past. It is totally clean and it has an arch to it, which again adds some strength, like a, like a bridge arch. Uh, not as much as we would like, but it does add strength. To compensate for the fact that we've got a smooth deck here with no structure on it, we have done something that we have uh, not wanted to do in past years. We have actually put some structure underneath. And, and on some of these, a couple of these units with the wings up, you will see some of that. Now to compensate for that, because we are determined not to impede the airflow under the machine, because that's it, vitally important to the performance of the, of the cutter, we have a, a very, very deep side skirt, a very, very deep cutting chamber. In fact, 30% more volume in the cutting chamber than the uh, uh, current model of Rhino cutter. What that means to you is, when you get into heavy cut material, you have more space in there to keep the cut material uh, uh, flowing, and you get more of a mulching effect. The opposite of that is, if you're needing to get over ground in a hurry, having the extra volume air space in there and getting airflow through like you should uh, uh, actually lets you cut a little faster. Uh, there's, so there's some, again, advantages to the end user. Another, uh, another thing that we heard a lot of complaints about in the past and on just about every other cutter that's on the market, there are all kinds of mechanical linkages that tie the, the wings back to the center deck. Uh, uh, with this unit, we have done away with those completely and have gone to a uh, phase lifting cylinder arrangement, which in essence raises the whole machine up evenly uh, at an even speed. Again, that's something that is new to Rhino, uh, but when we look at the serviceability of it, recognizing that whenever you put hydraulics on, sooner or later there's going to be service requirements, we make it very easy to readjust. In fact, it's a one-step process if you need to readjust that and get everything back in sync again. Um, we come back here in the, in the back end and add suspension. Uh, in the past, and in fact, in most competitive cutters in the marketplace, you're going to find that they have a suspension system right in the middle of the center deck, and that's it. What we find is that there is a whole lot of uh, stress and strain on the machine, and a stress and strain on the tractor and on the operator when you're bouncing around, bouncing down the road, or bouncing across the pasture, or out in the cornfield. Uh, so the smooth ride that you get with the suspension system is one benefit. The other benefit is it removes a lot of the stress and strain on the machinery. Uh, we actually have independent suspension. We've got suspension back here, these compression, rubber compression uh, grommets independent on each wing and a, a gang of three of those uh, on the center deck. So we have a very smooth ride all the way through then the, the high clearance axles. Uh, if you look, if you remember when we introduced the TS12 back in 2009, the axle arrangement providing clearance gave it a little bit different look. And we've got one of those sitting there, the red machine over here. Well, you can kind of see that we took the same concept and made it bigger, made it stouter, made it so that it will hold up in the adverse conditions that our customers have to mow in. That has worked really, really well. Uh, we did some other things with this, like uh, we had, had to have a little bit of fun. We designed a new tire to go on the back end of the machine. And the tread pattern on here, and I, and I accused our engineers of spending too much time on the internet, but the tread pattern 
is a rhino hoof print. And the problem with that is that rhino hoof prints are not symmetrical. So we put a rhino on the sidewall, and if you keep that rhino going forward, you've got your tires on right. <laughs> Again, we had to have a little fun with the project, too. What kind of questions have you got as you 